moving on. Some uh, some decently good news, I think, on the Julian Assange front. Recently found out that Sweden is going to drop those charges, uh, the rape allegations against Julian Assange again. I think this is the fourth time that they have dropped these charges uh, from Assange, uh, which is a, which is kind of a big deal, right? Um, they're discontinuing uh, the the preliminary investigation that they put out there. Uh, so uh, here here here's a, a a nice question to ask: Why the fuck is he still in prison then? Why is he still in prison for something that that sweet? I mean, the second that these guys dropped the charges. We should have heard that Julian Assange is being let go out of prison to go live his life the way that he wants to live his life in peace. You know, at this point, he probably needs to get uh, psychological help from from all the fucking torture and the destruction of his mind that that all of this has caused. Why is he really in prison? Well, now they're now now that the, the these charges have been dropped and the whole escaping bail bullshit uh, uh, that they got him on to put him in prison. Now that that's no longer uh, a viable option, uh, now it's we can see that the reason why he's still in prison is because he uh, revealed the war and corporate crimes of the elites. He relieved, he revealed the crimes of the elites, and they made him pay for it. That's why he's in there. He is a political prisoner through and through now. That's what he is, right? I mean, his mental and physical conditions are in, 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 in you know in, in, he's in total anguish uh, he wasn't able to like come up with words and stuff like that when, when he was uh, uh, on trial the extradition uh, now it's up to UK right we saw Australia didn't want to extradite him and they told him to just send him to Australia I don't know what the end game for the UK is right unless they're also kind of being petty like the united states uh about like revealing basically the crimes of their elites i don't know maybe but the uk does not need to fucking extradite him to the united states what does the united states have on them what is the united states going to do to them that's the real question we need to be asking get julian assange out of prison now that's what we need to do we need to get him out of prison and send him home Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, you can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash Mohan. Haha. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy, and I'm on tour pretty frequently. You can check out all of my tour dates on my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Uh, in the next week, I will be in Fort Wayne, Indiana, Champaign, Illinois, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Bloomington, Illinois, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. If you're in those cities, go to my website, grab your tickets, come hang out with me. Once again, you can check out all of my tour dates at ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll hope to see you on the road.